Hello guys, it is Shivam here. Welcome to our brand new video where we are going to start the lesson 8 of this awesome Flutter course for just the members of this channel. Now let's get started. So before we move forward, if you have an amazing app idea but you don't have a time or skills to develop an app, don't worry, my team will develop the app for you. So you can search for my startup name which is an app crafting. At app crafting, we transform ideas into powerful, beautiful mobile experience. Whether you are a startup or a business ready to scale, we design, build and launch your app fast, professional and ready for the world. You can just fill out the contact form and get a quote. Just fill out your name, your last name and your email and your requirements as well and after submitting this form my team will reach you out to develop your app for both play store and app store let me show you how our pharmacy app will look alike and what all things we are going to cover on this awesome series right now this is one of the most interesting series where you are going to learn a lot of lot of things regarding a flutter and how you can connect the firebases and backend and how you can manage that and we are also going to use some awesome state management to develop this complete app right now here you can see that this is the sign up page where it has written like join us create a free account personal info where we need to fill this all the personal info and there are button like create account now click to this back to the login page and this is the login page like hello welcome back login account email address password and these are all the buttons right now here we are going to use the email authentication by using a firebase where we are going to cover how you are going to use the email authentication to simply sign up or log in, in the app right now here i will move to the sign up page and we'll just enter my name it's like shivam gupta and we'll just enter the email address i will write in a random email address something like this i need to enter the password something like this now click to this create account button and it's loading and we directly land to the our home page where you can see that it in the top you can see the user image like your trusted online pharmacy and we have just passed like a text field where the user can search for any type of medicine that they are looking for and here you can see that these are the categories that we have added in our app like all medicines supplement vitamins herbal so here you can see that this is the medicine that has been shown now is this to the vitamin you can see that it simply show the vitamin right now this is how you can simply select a respective category and through that category it will be display all the products or the medicines related to that right now when i click to this like here you will write to the detail page where you can see that the picture of that medicine the name which is like paracetamol the description about that medicine the total price is like 90 dollars now i'll click to this and you will see that once i simply click to this the product quantity is simply increasing and it's telling me that how much quantity of that medicine you want to order so this is the total price is also increasing in real time as you can see over here right now when i click to this order now button you will see that it simply says that add money to your wallet because we have added a wallet page in this app where the user need to simply add the money in their wallet and they can simply pay through the wallet right now here it's at like zero dollar so that's why it's telling me that to add some money to your wallet now for example if i, I want to add a 200 dollars to this wallet i click to this button which is like for 200 dollars now and it will simply show me the resort pay payment gateway so yes we are going to use the resort payment gateway on this app i've also shown you the stripe payment gateway as well on this series so we are going to use a two payment gateway on this complete app which is like a resort pay and a stripe because stripe is not available in all the countries and resort pay is not available in all the countries so we are going to cover all the countries where you can use any type of payment gateway according to your need right so this is the pharmacy app and it's have and here you can see that this is a resort pay da dashboard with a upi option you can pay through the upi like paytm google pay etc etc there is a card option like visa mastercard and you can use a net banking there are many net banking options through a wallet you can pay through the wallet pay later etc so i'm going to pay through the upi just right now okay now here it's simply tell me that to enter the random upi i'll just need to write a random upi because this is the payment gate we are running in the testing mode and we click on this continue button and it's loading and it's saying that open your google pay app and complete the payment so it's loading yeah it's confirming payment 
yeah payment is successful you will be redirected in three seconds one zero yeah so here you can see that we have just redirected to the our wallet page and 200 dollar has been quickly added to our wallet now these are the some buttons like if you want to add 100 dollars 200 dollars 500 dollars but if you want to add some more money you can do that if you want to add some random money like 50 dollars you need to click on pay and again it will be resort pay will be on action and we just need to pay for the 50 dollars as well again i'm going to pay through the upi we'll just enter the random upi id now we click to this continue button and again it's loading loading and loading yeah so wait confirming payment so payment has been successful you will be redirected in three two one zero okay so this is the thing you can see now that 250 dollars has been added to our wallet and you can see that how simply you can add a wallet money to your wallet and you can see that here is a, your transaction section where you can see that it going to show all the transactions that you are going to do through the wallet now you can see that it first said that you have credited 200 dollars so it we have credited 200 dollars to our wallet and it simply says that 50 money has been credited to our wallet which is like 250 dollars so here we are going to see all the transactions now let's move to the order page and we are going to place an order right now for example this is the like i want to place an order for the two paracetamol right now i'll click to this order now button and we'll just wait and you can see that order has been placed successfully right now let's check to the wallet if the money has been deducted over there or not so here you can see that it simply now shows the amount which like 70 dollars has been left because 180 dollars has been simply debited from our wallet so here you can see that it simply show the all the transaction and wallet page is simply going to update something like this so these are all the things we are going to cover on this series and i'm going to tell you each and everything as i told you that if the reserve pay is not available in your country we are also going to cover a strike payment gateway this is an awesome course for you all to be a pro in flutter so we are going to cover each and everything that will make you a pro in flutter right now here we'll switch to the order page and you can see that in the order page we can see all the orders that we have placed it simply says that paracetamol quantity to company name apollo and the total price so it says that this is the order that we have simply placed placed and we can see all the order in our order page i hope it's clear right now at last you can see that this is the profile page where you can see the user image his name his email logout button and a delete account button now i'll click to this logout button and we'll simply log out from the app so you can see that this is the user side of the app and if you haven't been a member of this channel then i will tell you that please be a member of this channel because by being a member of this channel you can simply get some of the privileges right you will get a complete access of this complete course and through that complete course you can develop a complete app with us and you will get to know about a lots of things regarding a flutter and the second thing is that because we are going to also share some of the sources that i used to follow to develop this awesome apps and i've told you that the main and thing which is like a source code is totally free for all the members of this channel so the source code is totally free and it is only available for the member of this channel so if you be a member you are going to get a lot of privileges and we are going to give you a priority reply if you are facing any problem in this app so these are all the privileges you are going to get through the member now how you can be a member you can simply click to the join button or you can see a link i provided in the comment box and a description box as well you can simply click to that link and can be a member of this channel now we'll simply move ahead and i'll show you the admin panel yes there is also an admin panel on this app from where the admin can simply add any type of products and it will simply shown to the user side of that so let me switch to the admin panel right so this is the admin login page here you can see it's written admin login manage the complete app unique id we need to provide the unique id as we have given the unique id to the each admin so that none of the random user can simply land to the admin panel right so i just need to pass the unique id which is like peter and the password is like one two three four five six now we'll click to this login button and we have just land to this page where you can see that it's simply written add a product we just need to add a product like i'll write medicine over here we just need to pass the price like 30 dollars and we can select a category as i've told you shown you the category in the home page so these are all the categories that you can simply select and according to the respective category it will show the product in the home page right now it's their medicine supplements herbal vitamins i'll select vitamins company name i'll just write google so this is the random company name and we just need to pass a product description it is the best medicine it is the best medicine 
to be a superman yeah yeah now we'll click to this add product button and you can see that product has been added successfully successfully and this product will be directly shown to the user side of the app so these are all the things as i've told you that we are going to cover on this awesome series and i'm also going to tell you about each and everything that we are going to code over here and as i've told you that to get the privileges as i have already told you for the members you can simply be a member of this channel and that will be a small contribution from your side to this channel because we are working very hard to make this such type of videos because it take a lot of time to code then to edit and then to upload and all because creating an app is not an easy job you also know that because you are also a developer so you can simply show some support by getting a member i've kept the amount so minimal so that each and everyone can get a source code now let's move to the code and develop this awesome app from the scratch right now let's move and we are going to add the feature for our login page so i'll simply hot restart we'll move back to the login page in the login page again we are going to write a text editing controller just for the two text field because there are the two text field not a name field so like text editing controller which is like a email controller equals to new text editing controller text editing controller then i need to just pass the another controller which is like for the password controller password controller yeah so these are the two text editing controller that we need and we need also a two string just to store a respective text in that string right i hope it's very clear now i just need to pass email and the password something like this now once we do this now here we have wrote all this thing now here we are going to create a function name is like user login and again i'm going to use the which what function try and catch right so i'm going to just write async and in the async i'm going to first write a try and in the try i'm going to again try with some function and again we are going to catch that error so i just need to await firebase auth dot instance dot and we need to use the function name which is like a sign in because it is like we are going to allow the user to sign in so sign in with email and password and we need to just pass the email and the password so i just need to pass like email and the password something like this okay so once we do this now we are going to catch the error so for that i'm going to just pass like a catch and first let's pass on firebase auth exception let's catch the error so we'll just pass e then i need to do one thing like if e dot code is equals equals to so i'm going to check that if the user have entered the wrong email address over here then we need to just check that if the user is not found so if the user like have entered the wrong email address on this respective text field we are going to show the red signal i mean the red snack bar that the text will be passed like no user found for that email just to know that the email entered by the user is wrong they need to enter the correct one just to log in in the app i hope it's very clear right so this is what that we need to do now we need to show the snack bar so for that i'll move to the sign up page why to write the thing again and again let's copy this complete snack bar from here and we just need to paste it in our login page okay something like this we need to call our app widget class and we need to pass the text that i've told you which is like no user no user found found for that email it's very simple right so this is the first condition that we are going to check now if the user have entered the correct email address but they have entered the wrong password so i'm going to just check that if else if and in the else if i'm going to check that if e dot code is equals equals to and we are going to check that the wrong password provided by the user so we are going to check something like this now once we do this now i'm going to copy this another thing and we need to just copy this we'll paste it something over here and we need to just pass like wrong password provided by the user these are the condition that we need to just pass to know that the user who is trying to log in in the app and if you are facing any problem we can just show this all the errors and we can just help the user to simply log in in the app as soon as possible right now here I'm, once the user sign in with a correct email and password we are going to again navigate the user to which page which is like in home page so let's copy this complete navigator function from here we need to directly paste it something over here i hope it's very clear right now once we do this our user login function is ready you think you can think that it's very very simple to code a user login function now we need to pass a controller to the each text field so that we can manage all the things so i just need to pass controller and we need to pass like a email controller 
then we need to pass controller which is like a password controller okay so this is the thing that we need to do yeah i need to also pass off secure text to true text to true something like this i hope it's very clear right now for example if the user will click to this login button we are i mean login account button we need to show the execution so let's wrap up with the gesture detector in the on tap method again i'm going to check that if both the text field is filled or not so i'm going to check that by using email controller text should not be empty okay and and password controller dot text should not be empty i hope it's very clear i've explained you in the sign up page now once we do this we just need to assign the email string to the email text field right so this is what we need to do password equals to password controller dot text password controller dot text something like this okay so once we do this now we are going to just call a user login function something like this i hope it's very clear right so this is how we are going to just use our login function now let's simply hot restart the app and i will first like sign up in the app with some of the account and i'll use the same account to login just to check that whether we are going to login with a same email id or not so i'm going to just pass ayush gupta we are going to just pass the email address ayush123 at the rate gmail.com then we need to just pass the password which is like ayush123 okay we'll click on create account okay it's loading yeah so the sign up page is working brilliantly now let's test the login page now we'll switch to the login we'll write ayush123 at the rate gmail.com we'll just pass ayush123 okay let's click to this okay we are facing some problem okay so there was a small thing that in the user login according to the new firebase uh, version and there is some update in the firebase like we need to just check the code something like this we are going to just pass that invalid credential has been entered by the user then we need to just show that the you have entered the invalid email or password you can just update the code something like this now i'll just show you that how we are going to handle this case so we'll simply hot restart the app now i'll just first log in in the app so i'm going to just write like this shyam gupta okay and just write shyam gupta shyam 456@gmail.com and write shyam let's pass easy email so that i can simply remember this yeah so i just write shyam 123 yeah we'll click on create account okay so sign up page is working brilliantly now we'll simply hot restart and we'll just use the same id to log in right so let's shyam 123@gmail.com shyam 123 we'll click on login account yeah so we have you can see that i have used the same account to simply log in in the app that i have used to sign up and our login page is also working brilliantly and you have seen that how we are going to use the email authentication and through that email authentication we can successfully sign up or log in in the app and you have learned that how you are going to add this email authentication by using a firebase i as i've told you that i don't used to show about all the single functions in my normal videos but this is an awesome course just to be a pro in flutter so to be a pro in flutter you need to need, know a small thing as well so i've told you about each and every small thing so that's why the length of this video will be very long but you if you are investing some time then i want you to give some best from my side so if you are investing the time you will get a best from my side right and now we are going to like connect the app